For the outside of our box, basically we just covered it in paper of your choice all over. So I'm just gonna show you, we already have our box three-fourths of the way done, so you don't have to watch me just keep gluing stuff on and on and on. So I'm just gonna do three steps um, for that, showing you the paper. And then we just added some little Tim Holtz long fasteners going across the lid here. And then for the top, we're gonna use some Tim Holtz grunge board with our embossing powder. That's gonna come out really cool. This blue is really fun. And then just um, show you how we strung this ribbon through the box. It's another really cool step. So first, I'm going to start out by just putting our paper on. And we did this stripes on the outside and if you see these little dots here, that's just because I went ahead and measured exactly where we need to punch our holes for the ribbon. Because it makes it much easier if you already have that process done. And to get our paper on, I'm going to use our handy Glue Glider Pro here. These are on our website as well. And these are awesome because they are so easy and so fast. Just do strips all around, maybe one down the center if you want. And put on the front of our box. And as you can see, we inked the edges of our box because the paper, it, we didn't want it to line all the way up through. We didn't want it to line up perfectly. And when you take the ink and go over your paper, it kind of just brings all of the different papers together to where it looks more seamless. And I'll do that once I have the other strips of paper on, but go ahead and put our top piece on. I'm gonna use these fun polka dots, cause like I said, I'm gonna call mine the fun box and I'm gonna use mine for the same thing, but just make it a little bit different depending on person's style. And we have our paper on top. And then for this piece, this is going to go on this little strip here. And on the back side, I went ahead and put same thing. I measured out where I need to punch my holes with the crocodile to get our long fasteners in. And just make sure on the crocodile that you're using the smaller hole. And for this, we did about every inch. We did from a, a little over an inch from the edges and then each um, hole in between is an inch apart. Make sure I have the right one. Then you're just going to go all the way across with your holes. Once you have your holes punched, you're just going to insert your long fasteners. I believe these that we sell on our website come in a pack of 25. So you get quite a few. And for this, I think we end up using seven. So you're just going to continue the process, putting them all the way across the paper put our long fasteners in. And I believe these come in packs of 25. We have these on our website as well. This is one of the easiest glue guns I've ever used. Make sure we're getting it on good here. Once our papers are glued down, that's when I will take our little fluid, um, this is the fluid chalk ink. We have these on our website also. They come in uh, about six packs of uh, six different colors per pack. And just kind of go over the box and the paper as well. And then just continue. And I'm going to show you the process of getting our ribbon through. I already have my holes in and for this it was about um, three-fourths of an inch and then a quarter inch because you have to have a small, they have to come closer together for when you're the weaving in and out and then the bigger spaces for where you see the actual ribbon going across. 
So to get that, we have to use a crocodile big bite and we wanna make sure that it's on the bigger punch this time so that you have a bigger hole to get your ribbon through, makes it much easier. Then just start punching your holes. For this, we decided to use some Prima ribbon. All of these are on our website as well. We have about, I think, six different um, designs that you can choose from, all of which come with five different ribbons that are really funky and all different, so it's really fun pack. This is the one we're gonna use, and it's blue and green. And I didn't want, because when you use a ribbon, when you tie your bow, you can always see the opposite side, and this is like really bright blue. So I decided to tone it down a bit and go over it with that same ink that I did before and just kind of lighten it down because it is bold, even though it's a fun box. But Once you have that inked, we are going to divide or um, fold it in half and then just cut it down the middle because in order to get your ribbon to do like this you have to start from both ends meet in the middle and then tie your bow and we have a really cool trick too for making it look like it goes inside the box on the very edges so I'm gonna take my handy dandy tonic scissors cut that in half and then Before we go into the first hole, we are going to take our end here and right against the edge, we're gonna glue this down with some tacky tape or tape from the glue gun. And then, let's see, make sure our glue is hidden here. You just go right up to the edge and once that's glued down and then you go inside the box, it looks seamless. So we're just going to weave in and out here. It's nice you can open the lid and pull it through. And then come right back through on the closest hole. And then just continue all the way across. And so we're just gonna tie a simple little bow. It is easier if you give yourself plenty of extra ribbon and then just cut off the excess because tying these little bows can be complicated sometimes if you don't leave yourself enough. And once you have the bow you like, just cut off the rest. 